Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shamika and this is Check the Rhymes. I am so hype about today's show because it's all about relationships. And I know some of y'all can relate to this and you're probably wondering if you're the one in a similar relationship. You're like, what are you talking about? Listen y'all, MTV has a new exciting docu-series called Help, I'm in a Secret Relationship. You know how some of y'all think that y'all have this bae online and y'all are posting them online and everywhere, him or her, and then come to find out y'all ain't really in that relationship you thought you was. Oop. I don't, I don't want get, to get on somebody's um, neck today, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying, this might be the show for you. Anyway, <laughs> in the house today, I have the host of the series, recording artist Travis Mills. He's been here before. And actress Ronnie Jones is joining us. They are going to talk about Help, I'm in a Secret Relationship. It premieres on Tuesday, April 26th at 9 o'clock on MTV. So let's hop into the interview. Hi, welcome to Check the Rhymes. How are y'all? Fantastic. Great. How, How are, are you? People? I'm doing well, y'all. I'm excited about this show. I have to know though, you know, looking at both of your backgrounds, like of all the accolades and all the things that you're doing, what drew you to, to this particular show? We can start with you, Ronnie. Um, you know, I, I've been a fan of the, the uh, docu-series that, that MTV has put out, Catfish, Ghosted, that Travis also hosted. Um, and I think that, that the psychology behind um, hiding someone that you're in a relationship with that you, you say that you love is fascinating to me because it could never be me. You know, I 100% have been a person who has been hidden and I know what it feels like. Uh, so I was... It, intrigued to see why people would do something like this and i gotta tell you the reasons are uh bonkers so that's 100 what yeah. <laughs> how about you travis well you know i mean i have some experience in this whole lane right with shooting two seasons of ghosted i feel like what is different about this show is that these people are still actively living together going to sleep in the same bed at night right ghosted was so kind of removed because it was people who had had a lot of time and a lot of distance and separation and didn't know how to reconnect this is someone that you are literally spending morning afternoon and night with the only difference is that that's the only person that you're spending time with you don't meet their friends you don't meet their family you're not on social media how do you look that person in the eyes you know every day and not get these these questions answered and and that's oftentimes why they feel like they need to reach out to ronnie and i um so i feel like you know we we come at this with a place from a place of empathy um and we really want to help these people and and like i was telling uh somebody else earlier we spend so much time together you know with these people mm -hmm. getting them answers going to their favorite places around where they live you really develop a relationship with them and your heart goes out and you, you want to see the relationship succeed. So we're out there trying our best to uh, to get them the answers and hopefully repair the relationship. Okay, so what do you, what do you think is the difference? Cause you know, it, it's like that, maybe not really a thin line, but there's being private about your relationship and not being on social media, flaunting it to everybody. And then there's the secret relationship. What is exactly, would you say is the difference? And either one of you can answer that. I, you know, I think, I think the difference is that you know, I can 100% understand wanting to uh, protect your partner. You know, Travis talks about this on the show. He's a recording artist. You know, he's been in this business for uh, a long time um, and people are, insane sometimes they feel entitled to your relationship in certain respects and i can understand that level of trying to protect your relationship and your partner but i think what the at the end of the day it has to be communicated it has to be mm -hmm. a mutual understanding and what we find is that there is no mutual understanding at all one person is being kept in the dark and the other person is going about life like it's totally normal and that's not okay. So at the end of the day, it's all about communication and we come in so that these people can have an honest and open conversation, like Travis said, to, uh, you know, to rebuild their relationship and that foundation of trust. Absolutely. Travis, what kind of, what advice do you have for those people that are, that, you know, once they're watching the show, and they're like, maybe I'm the one in a secret relationship. What advice do you have for them as to maybe how to 
because I, you know, I don't know if they, if they can call it, just call you guys up or email whatever to get on the show, but if they can't, um, what can they do to, to bring things to the light or whatever in their relationship? Yeah, I mean, I think first and foremost, I would start by doing an emotional inventory. You know, how does your partner make you feel on a day-to-day -day basis? How do you feel about the relationship? Um, what are some things that you're very grateful for, you know, with this relationship? And then where is it lacking? And if you find yourself in this situation, you know, I think honesty is always the best policy. And if you, if you are in love with someone and this is the person that you want to be with, you shouldn't have an issue communicating your wants and your needs. And the right person for you is going to listen. They're, they're going to hear you. They're going to take your feelings into account. And you can work on a plan moving forward together rather than kind of like Ronnie said, you know, being in two different situations all at the same time. I think intent has a lot to do with this, right? Someone who has ulterior motives because, you know, they're one foot in, one foot out. They don't really want to commit there's going to be red flags and kind of warning signs along the way. Someone who wants to protect the relationship and protect their partner, they're going to have no problem communicating and talking about their reasons. Right. Right. Very, very true. I want to thank you both for coming on the show. Help. I'm in a secret relationship. I don't know why my voice goes up on that help part, but I just love to yell, help. help. I'm in a secret relationship. <laughs> <laughs> help me. <laughs> <laughs> right. It premieres on Tuesday, April 26th at 9 o'clock on MTV. Thank you guys so much. Cannot wait to see this entire season. Have a good Thank day. Thanks for having us. Thank you so much.